Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is another video in a little series where we are talking about the task manager in Windows 8. Uh, really an improved task manager compared to the older versions of Windows. Um, today we will talk about the startup tab in the task manager and uh, what it means and how it can be used to troubleshoot your computer of course. Um, first of all, how do you get the task manager? Well, you've got several options. You can go, if you have a mouse, in the lower left corner of the screen, right click, and there you'll have task manager in the list. Or you can also go into the desktop mode of your Windows 8 machine, right click at the taskbar at the bottom, and go get task manager. Or you can also go into, if you have a mouse, into the corners right or bottom or the upper right corners to get the charms bar. Or if you have a touch screen, just swipe from right to left. Go into the search, type task, and you will have task manager show up in the apps. Today we're talking about the startup tab. So if you haven't seen them already, now there are videos online for processes, performance, in app history, this one is startup. So, what does startup mean? This is one of the most useful tabs in the task manager, um, especially after using your computer for a while. All computers, with time, slowly get more and more slow. And Often people don't understand much why the computer is slowing down. And what people just don't understand very often is the fact that every time you add a new program, well, there's a good chance that that program will add some feature that's running in the background of Windows. So when you boot up, you've got something new that's also booting up with the machine. And that will slow down the startup time of your computer and that will also slow down the overall performance of your computer. Now in combination with the processes and the performance tab in the app uh, history, um, if you're a little wise and start looking at that, you might actually be able to stop some processes that actually use too much CPU or too much network time. So. How does it work? Basically, in the startup, you've got all the list of everything that can start up with your computer. That's basic for every computer. All computers have this list of startup items. Now, you have a choice of stopping or starting certain items. That's interesting because you can actually deactivate lots of these startup items. What's nice, it doesn't disable a feature most of the time, but it will disable the fact that this program starts every time your computer starts up. You can go by checking, especially on the right side of the list, the startup impact of your programs. So you might want to click there and see what is the eye impact of the startup. And everything that has high impact is probably the first things you should look at because they are slowing down the computer itself. When you look at items on the left side, you have this little arrow that is always on some of the different uh, options. Like here, my Intel Services Manager has a little arrow and it says, well, there's Intel Services Manager and Crash Report Sender that are bundled together under Intel Services Manager. And it gives me an impact. So I can actually right click here and disable this item if I want. I suggest that every time you disable an item, you restart your computer and use it a little bit to see if anything's missing. Because that's probably the first thing that will happen is that if you disable something that was important, you will have a feature missing from your computer. 
So go one at a time because if you go three, four, five different um, features, you know, if you disable all of the list, for example, well, one of the first things that you'll notice is that if something's missing, you won't know which one causes the problem. By going one by one, you make sure that if something's missing, you know what to put back in the computer for it to work well. So that's important to go slowly. You never, never want to go too fast in these types of settings. Um, I would say that this is probably for most users the fastest and the best way to actually make your computer go faster by disabling some of the features that you just don't need. Some features need to be there. So you won't, ha you won't be able to disable everything in the list. For example, if you have an antivirus program, it's probably going to be there in the startup list. You don't want to disable your, your antivirus program because you know it won't work anymore if you do. So stuff like that you cannot disable. Um, some hardware needs to be running. For example, lots of printers have a little program that's running with the driver and they need to be there available and running or else you won't be able to print, for example. So these are all little features that are um, of course um, important. So you can disable everything. Uh, when you click on something you can right click to disable it. You can also go on the bottom right there's the disable button is available right here on the bottom right. So um, that's probably what you want to do. On everything that's disabled if you right click you can enable it or on the bottom right you'll have the enable button right here. So um, go one by one, check at what's important or not, and do it slowly. An example here of something that I've disabled, but it's not necessarily a good idea, is look at the Adobe Acrobat um, Reader and Flash. If I, uh, I've disabled those, what that means is that I don't know if updates are available this doesn't since the little program there is disabled it doesn't check for me if there's an update for these programs on the web so that means I'll have to check manually for updates uh, so be careful what you disable because sometimes it's not always a good idea and when the uh, startup impact is low basically it means that even if you disable it there probably won't be too much of an impact it won't really show of course if this list is extensive I've seen computers with a really really big list here uh, and you disable you know half of the list or maybe the three quarters of the list you are sure to have a um, an impact you will see your computer boot up faster and you should see your computer run faster especially if you're running low on memory because all these processes actually use RAM so if you're low on memory that's also another way to actually um, have a little more room for your different programs so um, this is the startup tab probably one of the most useful tabs you'll ever get uh, to in the uh, task manager to disable startup programs like I said, if you're not sure of what you're um, disabling, just do one disable, start, restart your computer, check for any impacts. Is it still working well? Is everything, does everything seem okay? And if they do, well, go back to task manager and uh, check what else you can disable. Uh, basically, you want to have the least possible um, things running here at the startup technically because it's going to help you have a better uh, computer better running computer and also if this list is very long it does happen that you know when you have too many programs running in the background that Windows will crash for example because of that so that's another way to actually uh, 
troubleshoot a little bit of your computer. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any comments or questions, let us know. If you have any um, requests of um, apps, features you'd like us to do a video on, let us know and we'll uh, try to put a video online for you. And uh, if you have that new Windows 8 machine and you're a little lost, well, this is a great channel to learn more about Windows 8. So hope you will check out our numerous videos on the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.